Dear friends, this video will discuss about in brief about construction plant and machinery valuation and its report format detail. We'll start presenting now. A. Construction plant and machinery valuation. Valuation of construction plant and machinery is a specialized subset of plant and machinery valuation that focuses on equipment and assets used in the construction industry. Plant and machinery valuation is the process of determining the current fair market value of equipment. Valuation is important for a variety of purposes, including financial reporting, taxation, insurance, sale or purchase of assets, mergers and acquisitions, and legal matters. Here are more details about construction plant and machinery valuation. 1. Asset Types Construction plant and machinery encompass a wide range of assets, including bulldozers, excavators, cranes, concrete mixers, pavers, loaders, and various other heavy equipment and tools. 2. Purpose of Valuation Construction plant and machinery valuation may be conducted for purposes such as financial reporting, taxation, insurance, asset management, acquisition, disposal, and legal proceedings. 3. Valuation methods. The valuation methods used for construction plant and machinery are similar to those for general plant and machinery but may involve additional considerations specific to the construction industry. These methods include a. Market value, based on the estimated price an asset would fetch in the open market between a willing buyer and a willing seller. b. Cost approach, calculates the current replacement cost of the asset, adjusted for depreciation and obsolescence. c. Income approach, utilizes the expected income generated by the asset over its useful life, often applied to income-producing machinery. d. Comparable sales approach, examines recent sales of similar machinery to determine a fair market value. Ultimately, the choice of valuation method, market value, cost approach, income approach, etc., should be based on the specific circumstances and the intended use of the valuation, as different methods may yield different results. We will post separate video of all four valuation method with example in separate video. 4. Condition Assessment The condition of construction equipment plays a significant role in valuation. Appraisers assess the age, wear and tear, maintenance records, and overall working condition of the machinery. 5. Equipment Utilization Valuators consider how intensively the equipment has been used and whether it has been operated in line with recommended guidelines. 6. Location The geographic location of the machinery can impact its value. Equipment in regions with higher demand for construction may command a premium. 7. Market Trends Understanding current market trends and the demand for specific types of construction equipment is crucial in determining their value. 8. Depreciation Depreciation is a key consideration in valuation. Different depreciation methods, such as straight line or declining balance, may be applied based on the asset type and industry standards. 9. Obsolescence Consideration is given to technological or functional obsolescence, which can significantly impact the value of machinery. 10. Replacement cost The cost of acquiring a new piece of equipment with similar functionality is considered, factoring in any technological advancements or changes in, changes in regulations. 11. Legal and regulatory compliance, valuation may need to comply with local or national regulations governing the construction industry and machinery use. 12. Documentation and reporting, a comprehensive valuation report is prepared, including the methodology used, assumptions made, and the final assessed value. This documentation is essential for transparency and decision-making. 13. Equipment identification, accurate identification of each piece of equipment is crucial, including the make, model, serial number, and any unique features or modifications. 14. Projected useful life, the remaining useful life of construction machinery is a vital consideration, as it directly affects its economic benefit. 
Valuation of construction plant and machinery is essential for construction companies, financial institutions, investors, and other stakeholders involved in the construction industry. It enables informed decision-making, proper accounting, and compliance with legal and regulatory requirements. To ensure accurate valuations, it's important to work with professionals who specialize in construction equipment valuation. B. Format of Construction Plant and Machinery Valuation Report A construction plant and machinery valuation report is a formal document that outlines the process, methodologies, findings, and conclusions of the valuation of equipment used in the construction industry. While specific report formats may vary depending on the valuation firm or organization's standards, Here's a general format you can follow for such a report. Construction Plant and Machinery Valuation Report Report Cover Page A. Title, Construction Plant and Machinery Valuation Report B. Valuation Firm's Name and Logo, if applicable C. Date of Valuation D. Client's Name, if applicable Table of Contents A. List of sections and subsections with page numbers 1. Executive Summary It describes Describes A. A brief summary of the key findings and conclusions B. The equipment's estimated market value 2. Introduction It contains A. Background information, including the purpose of the valuation. B. Scope and objectives of the valuation. C. Identification of the equipment being valued. 3. Equipment description. Detailed information about the construction equipment, including make, model, age, usage hours, condition, and any unique features. 4. Valuation methods. It describes. A. Explanation of the valuation methods used, such as the market approach, cost approach, income approach, or comparable sales approach. B. Justification for selecting the specific methods. 5. Comparable sales data, if applicable. It contains A. Details of comparable sales used, including the assets, their sale prices, and relevant specifications. B. Adjustments made to the comparable sales data. 6. Cost approach, if applicable. A. Calculation of the replacement cost. B. Depreciation calculations. C. Adjustments made to account for depreciation and other factors. 7. Income approach, if applicable. It contains A. Annual income generated by the equipment. B. Operating expenses. C. Capitalization rate used. D. Calculation of net operating income, NOI. E. Equipment value calculation using the income approach. 8. Market approach, if applicable. It contains. A. Comparable sales data and adjustments. B. Market conditions and trends. We will post separate video of all four valuation method with example in separate video. 9. Equipment inspection and condition assessment. It contains. A. Details of the physical inspection of the equip equipment. B. Assessment of its condition, including maintenance records, repairs, or improvements. 10. Legal and regulatory compliance, if applicable. It describes a. Any legal or regulatory considerations relevant to the valuation process. 11. Findings and conclusions. It mention a. Summary of the estimated market value. b. Any limitations or caveats in the valuation process. C. Professional judgment and qualifications of the valuator. 12. Recommendations, if applicable. 
It recommend. A. Suggestions or recommendations based on the valuation findings, such as maintenance or disposal strategies. 13. Supporting documents. This include. A. Include any relevant photographs, equipment specifications, market data, or other documents used during the valuation process. 14. Signature and certification. It contains. A. The valuator's signature. B. A statement certifying that the report is accurate and prepared in compliance with industry standards. 15. Appendices, if applicable. It includes a. Additional information, data, or reference materials that support the valuation. 16. Acknowledgements and references. It includes a. Acknowledge individuals or sources that provided assistance or information during the valuation process. b. Include a reference section if you used specific valuation standards or guidelines. 17. Contact information. It includes a. Contact information for the valuator or valuation firm. Please note that the specific content and format of the report may vary based on the unique requirements of the valuation and any industry or regulatory standards that apply. It's essential to follow industry best practices and maintain transparency in the reporting process. Friends, we have explained in brief about construction plant and machinery valuation and its report format. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comments section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Infra Mechanizer, this is 100% free.